Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mathusiasm. Today we want to look at these two integrals which look very similar. The integrands are reverse, or rather we should say that they are the reciprocals of each other. It turns out that the methods to solve them are totally different. Let's look at the first one. A standard trick is to use substitution. Let u be the denominator x plus sine x. Therefore, du is equal to bracket 1 plus cosine x dx. We're so lucky that this right-hand side is already in the integral. We can put everything inside. Then it's equal to integrate 1 over u du, which is equal to log absolute u plus c, where c is a constant. We put the expression of u back, then the answer is equal to log absolute x plus sine x plus c. Can we use the same trick for the other integral? Definitely not. We can see that multiplying 1 plus cosine x and dx together gives du. But in the second integral, the term 1 plus cosine x is in the denominator. So what should we do? Now we shall look at another important technique of integration. If we are given a fraction in the integrand, we may try to separate the terms. Of course, we can't do something like this, but we can change the denominator into only one term. By how? Well, let's make use of trigonometric identity. Because cosine two theta is equal to two cosine squared theta minus one, putting one to the left-hand side, we get this. Now, we can see that the left-hand side looks like the denominator. What we have to do is to put x equals to two theta that is, theta is equal to x over 2. Therefore, 1 plus cosine x is equal to 2 cosine squared x over 2. Next, as the denominator is changed to half angle x over 2, we should do the same for the numerator. Recall another double angle formula, sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. Put x equals to 2 theta, then we have sine x is equal to 2 sine x over 2 cosine x over 2. Great, we can put all this into the integral. It's equal to integrate x plus 2 sine x over 2 cosine x over 2 all over 2 cosine squared x over 2 dx. There's only one term in the denominator, so we can separate the integrand into two fractions, which is integrate x over 2 cosine squared x over 2 plus sine x over 2 over cosine x over 2 dx. Further separate the two integrals, then we get integrate 1 over 2 x secant squared x over 2 dx plus integrate tangent x over 2 dx. Now, let's focus on the first integral. The integrand is a product of two types of functions x and second square x over 2. What method are we going to use? Right, we'll do the integration by parts. Recall the formula integrate u dv is equal to uv minus integrate v du. So our goal is to change it into the form integrate u dv. That is to change the differential. How do we do that? We put the 1 over 2 inside the differential first to get the bracket x over 2. So it's equal to integrate x second square x over 2, the bracket x over 2. For the term second square x over 2, we integrate it into the differential, which is the bracket tangent x over 2. Wait, are you telling me to integrate some terms only? Why can you do that? Let me explain in more details. Consider the tangent x over 2 dx by chain rule, we have second square x over 2 times 1 over 2. Therefore, the bracket tangent x over 2, this differential, is equal to 1 over 2 second square x over 2 dx. In this equation, from left to right is a differentiation, and from right to left is the reverse of differentiation, which is an integration. That's exactly what we did on the left. We change the differential successfully. How magical it is! Okay, the first integral is integrate x the bracket tangent x over 2. 
this is the form of integrate u dv we are looking for. Now, let's go back to the original integral. It's equal to integrate x d bracket tangent x over 2 plus integrate tangent x over 2 dx. We apply the formula of integration by parts. Here, u is equal to x and v is equal to tangent x over 2. So the first integral is x times tangent x over 2 minus integrate tangent x over 2 dx. And we just copy the second integral integrate tangent x over 2 dx at the back. It's so fortunate that the last two terms cancel out. So the answer of the integral is x tangent x over 2 plus c, where c is a constant. If you'd like to know more interesting integration problems, please check out the links of my videos and playlists shown on the screen and in the descriptions below. See you in the next video.